Today's lesson is on multiplying two digit by two digit numbers using arrays. So here is our learning goal chart. Um, we're going to be looking at level three, but we're only going to be really looking at rectangular arrays and area models for this specific lesson. So our learning goal is I can illustrate and explain multiplication of the calculations of two digit by two digit problems using equations, rectangular arrays, and area models, and I can multiply two digit, two digit numbers using strategies based on place value operations. So here are the steps to multiplying a two digit by two digit number. Please make sure you write this down in your notes and you also might want to have an example for yourself. So please take the time to do this now. If you need to pause the video, that's fine. So here are our steps on the side. You don't have to recopy it. Now what we're going to do, we're going to break up the two digit number into tens and ones. So 39 is equal to 30 plus 9, and 25 is equal to 20 plus 5. So we're going to do 30 and 9 on the top, and 20 and 5 across the side. Now remember, we go horizontal and vertical. So we're going to multiply the tens by the tens, so 30 times 20. Tens by the ones, so 30 times 5. Ones by the tens, so 20 times 9. And ones by the ones, 9 times 5. So if you see, we're just going straight down or straight across with our numbers. We're not going diagonal at all here. So now we're just going to multiply these numbers. So I'm going to circle my basic fact and triangle my zeros. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 more zeros is 600. Circle my basic fact, triangle my zeros. 2 times 9 is 18, add one more zero. Circle my basic fact, triangle my zero. 3 times 5 is 15, one more zero. And then my basic fact here is just 9 times 5 is 45. Now typically what I encourage you to do is just to add these two rows and then add these partial products together. So if I have 180 plus 45, I have 225. If I have 600 plus 150, I have 750. So 750 plus 225 is 975. So 975 is my final answer. Let's try another one. So again, we're going to break up 29 and 28 into tens and ones. So 29 is equal to 20 plus 9. 28 is equal to 20 plus 8. So we did that. Here's my box. Now I'm going to multiply the tens times the tens, and the tens times the ones, ones times the tens, and ones times the ones. All right, so fill out your chart. Now I'm going to circle my basic fact and triangle my zero. Oh, there should be another zero for the 20. So I have two times two is four, plus two more zeros is 400. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 more 0 is 180. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 more 0 is 160. And 8 times 9 is 72. Now again, add these numbers up. So I have 560 plus, that would be 252. So 560 plus 252, if I add these partial products together, I get 812 as my final answer. All right, now let's do another one. 30 times 14. So again, I'm going to break up these numbers into 30 and 0, 10 and 4, right? We broke it up into 10s and 1s. Here's my box, it's already made for me. So I have 30 times 10. Here I'm going to have 10 times 0, 4 times 30, and 4 times 0. So 30 times 10, let me circle my basic fact, and triangle my zero. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 more zeros. 4 times 3 is 12, and I have one more zero. 10 times 0 is 0, and 4 times 0 is 0. So 0 and 0 is 0. So I have 420, so 420 plus 0, is 420. So my final answer is 420. 
All right, here are three problems for you to try tonight. Remember to go through the steps. Again, after this lesson, please revisit your learning goal and think about where you are at the end of this lesson. Thank you so much for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.